Hi there, it's me again. I wanted to show you a little about Grammarly. It was suggested as a, as a tool that you might consider using, and I think this is going to blow your mind, especially if you're doing any work with students where you uh, want to provide them a higher level of feedback. This is one of the things that kills my time um, during the regular semester, and that is uh, just reading through and then making the appropriate suggestions so that I'm actually teaching better writing skills. And I teach technology, but I still do a ton of that. It's all of our responsibility. So um, the Grammarly tool provides a really high level of, um, of suggestions and editing based on certain criteria that you give it. Let me just show you because it'll make a lot more sense. So um, I had a student in my uh, quest-based learning class who submitted their blogger. I click on their blog um, and uh, and I see a bunch of, uh, of text. And I, as I'm reading, I'm noticing, well, I would have done that a little bit different. But how am I going to get this information to them unless I annotate this thing completely, which is a time suck. So I'm going to copy the text right here and I'm going to paste it into Grammarly, which I've already logged into. And immediately you'll notice it checks it it identifies the critical issues, it gives it a relative score, and that's just, you know, what the, let's take a look at what it did. So, uh, it says that uh, this sentence may be a little wordy. Well, maybe I can suggest something about that. Summer, comma, well, there's no comma. Click here to remove the comma. So if this were my own writing, I could click to remove it, right? And I could make those changes. Now this is similar to Word, but it gets much, much deeper. It identifies this as an unnecessary ellipsis, right? Um, it suggests a semicolon uh, to splice that sentence rather than a comma. If you want to know more about that, you can click on it and it'll tell you why it makes that suggestion. Click on it more, it'll give you correct and incorrect uh, examples. It's wonderful for your own writing. But what about your students? You can actually click on the score down at the bottom and download a detailed report uh, of the writing. Is your mind blown yet? It should be. And I'm uh, downloading this detailed report. I'm gonna save this PDF. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And I'll pop it up there. And it gives me a PDF report telling them what the problems were. Misspelled words, uh, grammar, missing a wrong preposition. And then it gives them the same thing that I saw. Remove really, surprised with, right? It gives all of these suggestions of things that they should fix, and you can send this PDF directly to them. How cool is that? If you can get a, a good deal on it, I've got the annual uh, rate. I think it, I think I get charged monthly the way that uh, I'm doing it. You might even be able to get your uh, your school or your university to pick this up for you. It is a critical tool. Um, we've been waiting for this technology to exist. Word kind of hinted that it might do it. They've done it. Grammarly is amazing. And uh, I can assure you that you won't have writing issues um, in your uh, college work here if you can constantly uh, reflect uh, back to a tool like this to give you good advice. One thing I'll mention too is that you can decide what type of document you want to edit. Is this an academic document, uh, right? Research proposal, book literature review, right? Is it for business, technical? Is it creative? Do you want to turn the, uh, I guess, the acceptance rate of, of certain concepts and ideas uh, higher? You can do that as well. Script, short story, um, very casual. Personal email, personal blog post, th those types of things. And if I click on this, how does it change it? Does the recheck? It got a much higher score. It, uh, it will allow things like these ellipses to exist, um, you know, the, because it's more casual. Really, really cool, and I hope that this video has been helpful.